Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of the Trump's Church with Howard Gate Tongue. So in today's episode, we'll be playing low stuff in the league. Um, and then since we've been with you, it's been uh, rather good fun actually. With only three games been played actually, um, we won two 0 against Bennymore Town. Dominic Knowles and Marlon Jackson getting the goals there. With Nathan McGinley getting sent off for Spenny Moore in the ninth minute, that really helped us with our win. Um, and then we lost 4-3 against Southport. Really good game this with Dominic Knowles, Marlon Jackson, just fucking getting the goals with them. For us, sorry. Uh, Simon Dahl got two, and so did Carl Larson for Southport. While Kenton Richardson got sent off in the 55th minute. And then we're through to the fourth round, fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup. Thanks to a 3 0 win against Thurrock. And Marlon Jackson scored two, and Dominic Knowles scored one. That brings us on to today's game against Low Stoff, where the teams are warming up right now um, in the tunnel. Um, let's do this. Nothing but win. Um, so let's do this. Um, so uh, we're the team in yellow, they're the team in blue. As Leslie goes forward, and that's the end of that highlight. That was really unproductive. unproductive. <clears throat> Ten minutes on the clock, so nothing's really happened here. <laughs> and now Pritchard has the ball for them. <laughs> and now we get it back again with Sparks. Sparks runs right with it. it doesn't get challenged there. I was surprised it did, but Prisley gets it. McGuinness. <laughs> Uh, Leslie, um, he plays it back to Van, who has the injury still, wearing it off. Oh, Hanlon. Ollie Jackson. I think that's Ollie Jackson, but no, it's Marlon Jackson, my mistake. <laughs> um, just remind you, with a victory, we could move into sixth in the league. Overtaking FC Nestor Manchester, who's currently winning their game. Sparks puts it into Leslie. Leslie shoots! And Falkingham should have scored there with the header, but he doesn't. Remains nil nil here on the thirty first minute. Agnew up to O'Hanlon. Um McGuinness puts it in. Marlon Jackson just wide. Just in the top, sorry. Nothing really to talk about. We've had nine shots compared to their zero. Leslie. Oh, their keeper is in fine form today. In fine bloody form. I could do nothing about this so far. Solihull Moore's going to lead the way in the league. Followed by Salford, Kidderminster, York, Kaisley, Southport and FC Nestor Manchester. And because we're losing our game, we've dropped out of the playoffs entirely. So what I'm going to say is aggressive. I'm fucking pleased of what I just saw from the team. Because um, if you think about it, with uh, 12 shots coming to their zero, we, just, we really should have scored some of them. And even four of them on target absolutely abysmal in my opinion. Remains nil nil here. <coughs> Half an hour to go. Substitution for the home uh, for the rating throw. It's been a really dull affair. They've only had one shot this whole game. We really should have scored more than we have done so far. But that's how football works nowadays, isn't it? Like you never get what you want. Just before we have this highlight start, I'm gonna take off uh, Jack Ryan for Paul Green. Agnew. Jackson Sparks. Cleared, but we get it back straight away again. McGuinness puts it in. Jackson Sparks, Jack Sparks, open the scoring on the 71st minute. I'm still not happy with this result as it stands because we really should have scored a lot more than we have done. This moves us up to seventh in the league. Joint on goal difference against Southport. And Liam Agnew, no action. I'm going to take off Marlon Jackson, Jordan Thules, and Daniel Johnson is coming on for some range. We have 50 minutes to go. We lead currently. 
Bradford PA were able to survive in this league. They're only losing 2-1 two, two, against AC United of Manchester. They find themselves 18th in the league, so luckily I'm not carrying on with them. Southport are still on, uh, uh, still on seven goal difference, which means we'll be joint. But I think they've conceded, actually. I think they've conceded late on. I think they're going to get drawn out because I'm pretty sure we just moved up from sixth. As uh, I Kirsch, visit the caravan to Reed, to Priestley, Pritchard, and that's a goal kick, and that's surely wrapped up this victory for us today against Lowestoft. Really, we really should have scored a lot more with with the Beaver today. But we've done it by a goal to nil. A good game overall. I'm really not happy with the result. We should really should have scored a lot more than we have done. But that's, you know, you need to deal with what happens sometimes. And thinking about when I'll be back, it depends if we're able to get into the FA Cup. If we're able to get into the FA Cup, I'll do that game. If not, I'll do Bradford PA. Yeah, but thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I'm going to end up with the league table. This is how it looks. Until next time, I'll see you later. Goodbye.